Good evening, everyone. It is Lonnie. We are back in the shed. It's actually Sunday night. I have a lot of Hot Wheels orders that are going out today. So I wanted to get a little jump on my Monday shipping. So I'm going to record some tonight and then I'll record more in the morning um, to finish up pulling orders. But I wanted to get at least like 30% eh, or so of the orders pulled tonight. So let's get some orders pulled. This is stuff that sold on eBay over the weekend. First up, I showed some locks that sold the other day. Uh, some more of these coal locks. And Michael came in and bought the rest of them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna double check. I mean, it should be, it should be these though, because this is what I have left. I hope it's these anyways. Let me take a look at, quick look at the photo. Uh, Da, da, da. four brass uh, two combos and one that's not brass so uh one two three four brass two combos and then one that's not brass okay so yeah these sold for 41.99 plus shipping so thank you very much michael really do appreciate it here we're going to the mid a shelf pulled um uh, not pulled sold a penguin action figure should be this guy right here i don't have uh, too many more on this shelf anymore. But yeah, this guy sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. This is an LSU bikini tank bikini thing um, that I bought. I bought at a yard sale. It's probably been a couple years now. Um, I have a bag full of it here. This is only like the third one I've sold. And I paid... I think I paid a dollar a piece. So the one that I sold here, I have $2 into. And I sold it for, I sold the set for $25 plus shipping. So, I mean, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I just kind of keep it in this bag in the back of the shed over here. Uh, so I'm, I'm very glad to get the sale. This stuff. This stuff has not performed well for me though, <laughs> at all. But yeah, $25 plus shipping. I'm happy to happy to sell that. All right, I'll do one more pull before I pack what I've pulled so far. Um, it's actually in here. It's these, these over here. I've got Hot Wheels lots all over the place. Um, this is a box that I put my 7-Eleven vintage slurpee cups in and i sold lot number five i think well it better be this lot right here because this is the last lot i had left yes lot five so um i got i get for that 34.99 plus shipping on top that these will ship out um these will ship out first class package for sure so good sale uh, i think i had five lots and some of the some of it I sold on sale and some of it I got full price for. I think all of them were on sale when I sold them except for this lot right here. And I'll do one more. So this hat box right here, I have two hat boxes and one hat bag. And I'm slowly selling through them. Uh, this Rainbird hat, I think I paid a dollar for it uh, quite a while back. And I think I had a couple of those, those same hats actually. Uh, Rainbird is a manufacturer of sprinklers. So like landscaping people would be interested in something like this. Uh, sold that hat for $19.99 plus shipping on top. All right, got that stuff packed. Now it's more, more stuff to pull. Um, I sold a laser disc. I don't have that many left, do I? Uh, I've only got, what, six, six laser discs left. But now it's going to be five because I sold Radio Land Murders. Never even I think I've heard of it, but I've definitely not seen it. I don't believe. Um, is that George Burns? I think it is. <laughs> uh, Seven ninety nine plus shipping for that. And on the same shelf, I sold this Saga Volume One. Um, graphic novel or trade paperback not sure which sold that to agustine i hope i'm saying your name correctly uh, but thank you very much agustine hope you enjoy 5.99 plus shipping
Sold a TNA Wrestling DVD. Where the heck are those at? I uh, thought they were over here or something. Apparently not. Oh, here they are. TNA Wrestling Genesis 2006. So it's right here. So I've only got five more that are sealed. Then I'll be done. These have done really well. $9.99 plus shipping on top for this. Lang bought two more of these Batman automobilias. Um, he bought number 48 right here. This is a Batmobile from the Batman animated series. He bought that one. And the other one he bought is 21, I believe. Might take me a minute to find. I think it's red, so that'll help. I bet it's this, this guy right here. I used to have just a ton of these things. Yeah, 21. Okay. So yeah, I think they were 14, 14.99 a piece, I believe. That's what I did for these since they weren't um, brand new sealed like some of the other ones I had. So thank you very much, Lang. And yes, I definitely will combine the shipping on these two and send you a little refund. Now, well, I got all the stuff I've showed y'all so far. It's packed over there on that rolling cart. Um, I have a ton of hot wheels that are going out so I, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull them and i, I do want to show y'all what's selling but i'm gonna pull them now and then um i'll get them i'll have like right now i'm pulling these <laughs> these are fhw the reason they're fhw is because th this shelf is above the fridge <laughs> so i didn't like write that on the shelf anywhere but i just know that that's where they're at because it actually says it in the custom skew field too so let's see eight seven six eight seven six two yeah, this one right here and i'll pull the rest and then we'll go through them real quick okay, i've got this first first batch all lined up here it's uh how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lots and uh they're all going to individual uh, individual buyers except for one um, one pair that's going to one person I, I don't think these are to viewers but I'm not positive there was no message in the sales record anyways um, so hopefully hopefully that's the case but I'm not positive so anyways um, $4.99 $14.51 Thirteen dollars and fifty cents, fifteen fifty, and then these two sold together for twenty one dollars, ten fifty, six ninety nine, thirteen, and then eleven fifty. So that's that first round. And now what I have to do um, is I have to open each one up, bubble wrap the cars, close them back up, drop a thank you note in close them back up and then print out the postage apparently i've changed my plan uh and i think i'm just gonna pack everything pretty much tonight <laughs> oh man um it's pretty late i'm not gonna say how late but i actually have uh i'm watching uh, i have it playing anyway while i pack halt and catch fire on netflix oh my gosh if y'all have ever seen that before uh it's all well if you haven't seen it before and you're kind of a techie kind of person, uh, kind of nerdy like me, give it a shot on Netflix. It's really good. I think this is my third time watching it, so I don't really have to watch it. Um, anyways, Benton bought three lots, uh, three really good lots, actually. And uh, CHW12. Okay, so this is CHW over here. This one right here is four Disney cars. That sold for $44.88. This is all at auction, of course. CHW4, right here. This is an interesting one. Uh, this was a lot of, or a set of seven James Bond 007 cars, all in their boxes with the little certificates of authenticity or whatever. Um, and there were really not very many comps i think maybe i found a couple of loose ones but nobody was selling like the whole set or anything uh but yeah that 
that set of seven went for $85. And then I have one more I gotta pull, it's three Hot Wheels ID cars uh, that sold for $32. FHW9, I think it is. Yeah, FHW9. Uh, right here, here we go. So these are all going out to Benton. I'm gonna repackage them, uh, ship them as a priority package and then uh yeah figure out if i owe benton some uh change or not i think i probably will actually because I, th I think uh i think th these three added together one of them i think one of them was actually i think one of them might have actually even been over a pound so oh this one right here 12 chw 12 feels heavier than a pound no, right out of pound. So anyway, yeah, I'll combine that. Thank you very much, Benton. Really do appreciate it. More Hot Wheels to pull. Jessica bought CHW1, which is a couple of Monster GM trucks in here. Uh, $7.16 for that one. Thank you very much, Jessica. Hope you like it or like them, I should say. Then Christian bought NM2. NM2. Okay, right here. Uh, this is a lot of four police Hot Wheels that sold for, I'm looking at a notepad right here, uh, sold for $12.01. Thank you very much, Christian. I do appreciate it. And then, let's, well, I, I would say finally, but I have one more order after this. Uh, Roger bought, I have to go to the cube and Roger bought this little guy right here. This is a mystery machine, uh, special one. It's a super treasure hunt and, uh, pretty rare. This one sold for $78 plus shipping. So thank you very much, Roger. Uh, that was, that was absolutely the best hot wheel that I sold, uh, so far i don't think i have any that are more valuable than that coming up so uh yeah let me get this stuff packed thank y'all very much i got one more order to pull but it's actually a lot <laughs> um, jose bought 18 lots of hot wheels lot mostly batman but there's some other stuff too so you'll see it flashing on the screen or not flashing just displaying on the screen as as i uh as I go over it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it first though. Okay, got them all pulled. And um, yeah, it's a lot of boxes. So let me just double check. HW8, six, and I have BM. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 13, 14, 16, and 18. That's right. And then I have NM, one, three, and four. So, yep, that's all of them. So thank you very much, Jose. I hope you like all these cars. I'm gonna re, I think I'm gonna re-box these into um, probably a bigger box, probably like something like this, and then I'll put the, those inside of another box. So, but yeah, thanks again, Jose, and thanks everyone that bought Hot Wheels. All right, one more thing that sold, um, I actually got all the other packages out um, and went by UPS and everything, UPS store. The other thing that sold, uh, which is gonna go out tomorrow, I'm gonna pack it today. It doesn't actually have to go out for two more days, just based on the handling time. I need to get my handling time squared away because they're all over the place. Some have one day, some have two days, some have three days. So I need to go in and bulk at it and uh, get them the same. But anyways, uh, somebody bought two of these they call them splash guards. Yeah, I guess they're splash guards because they're not, I don't think they're like flexible mud flaps so much. But yeah, they just hook up, they just connect to your truck or whatever like that. And uh, I paid, I think $5 a piece for these. Uh, if you saw me sell a, um, was that this video or not? When I sold an LSU swimsuit, when I bought that those swimsuits, I also bought the splash guards, mud flaps, whatever, um, at the same time. They had a, um, the people that had the garage sale, they had a gift shop 
with a bunch of LSU stuff, they shut down. And so they were selling a bunch of, uh, bunch of that inventory that they had left over. And that's when I got it. So anyway, um, I have $10 into these and I got $50 plus shipping on top. I've, again, I've had these over a year, but glad to make the sale. Still a good profit. In case you're wondering how I would pack that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just took one number seven box. That's a 12 by 12 by eight box approx. And um, yeah, I just slid the things inside of there. I did put a couple of spare pieces of cardboard in there too, just to help stiffen it up a little more. And then I taped up all the seams. And it is big in two dimensions, but in that third dimension, it's extremely small. Uh, you can call that one inch. So there's no way, there's no chance of any kind of oversized charges or anything. Well, good evening, everyone. It is nighttime now. I came back out to the shed to uh, look at a few comments and questions and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do a few now. Uh, the first one is from Yanko Wanko. Uh, oh, also, AKA Kevin. Uh, could you do another rundown on a basic list of boxes to start with for a new eBay seller? Thank you. Okay, so... Um, uh, a lot, of, a lot of, when it comes to boxes, a lot of that depends on what you're selling. I know there are a lot of sellers out there um, that don't use boxes at all. Like I, I see, I see a lot of like photos and whatnot of like clothing sellers. All they use is like, uh, well, I've got a couple of different, got a couple of different ones. I've got, I've got this size. I know you asked about boxes, so let me show you a bag since you asked about boxes, right? Uh, I don't know what size this is, but I like to keep, uh, this is a smaller, like, poly mailer for soft stuff that I keep around. I'd recommend you definitely have some of those around. Um, even if you're not shipping, like, clothing or something, you may want to, um, you may want to weather protect a book or something like that before you put it in a box sometimes. Um. Then I, I also have some larger ones too that I use. And if something gets really big, then I'll just use a garbage bag, <laughs> unscented garbage bag. Uh, another thing for a beginner that I recommend you use, you have on hand um, these, or these are padded flat rate envelopes. They ship at like 750 something or whatever. Depends on your, depends on if you're top rated seller or whatever. But uh, yeah, those are great. Um, there's also a paper version of that, which is just a, a padded, no, I'm sorry, which is just a flat rate envelope, FRE. The one I just showed you is a PFRE, padded, meaning it has bubbles. Uh, there's also a legal flat rate that is good. I don't know what you're selling, so I can't say for sure. But as far as boxes go, without knowing anything about what you sell, I would, I would recommend that a new seller keep I'd recommend three boxes. And then they're, depending on what you sell, um, you're like, well, the, I sell a lot of things that are this shape. We'll get that shape box. But uh, one staple for sure is this box. I use this all the time, 12 by 12 by eight approximately. Uh, it's a number seven box. Order them on the USPS website. This box I use constantly. And the reason I use it a lot is this is my number one go-to Frankenbox box. Um, I like it's a great size box, anyways. But then once you cut the seam, it's great to Frankenbox with because it is uh, it's square. So the, you, it's super easy to make it longer, taller, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so I highly recommend that box. And then I highly recommend. If you're just going to get a few boxes, I would recommend you get plenty of, oh, not plenty, you get 25 of these or so. This is the shoe box. It is shaped. They call it a shoe box, but all the boxes I'm going to show you here, they all ship by dimensions and weight. And uh, it's nice, lightweight box. It fits shoes and a lot of other stuff, too. And again, you can uh, Frankenbox that so pretty easily. You can make you can put a couple of these together for something long or whatever. Um, so yeah, I say number seven shoebox, and then for shipping stuff that 
can go first class package, I recommend you get some small boxes, not that one. That's not a small one. I recommend you get these um, eight by six by four. I usually buy a hundred of those at a time for shipping stuff, first class package, because it fits a wide variety of stuff, smaller stuff. Um, and the box is light too. It doesn't add much weight. Um, and I, I think that if you're just getting started, I think that's a pretty good assortment of of packing stuff. Of course, you'll also need you may need some paper, you know, some like packing paper or some bubble wrap and other things like that. Uh tape, you know, you're gonna need tape. But I think those boxes are a good starter kit, anyways. And then also um familiarize yourself with the box sizes available at stores near you, whether that be a box store or walmart i i go i use walmart boxes a lot for sizes that i don't use a ton but i know that they have on hand uh home depot and lowe's i know a lot of people also go to u-haul for boxes a lot of times um and and that's like if you don't want to stock boxes but you you know you want you want to get a pretty good deal you're not gonna that's one thing about like the boxes at uh walmart lowe's Home Depot and U-Haul, you're not gonna get like 100 count pricing, but you're gonna get a pretty good price. Like this is a box that I like from Walmart even. Um, I think this, no, that's not a Walmart box. This is, this is a Walmart box. 11 and three quarter by eight by four and three quarter. That's a nice box that can fit some larger stuff and you can still a lot of times get in under 16 ounces depending on what the item is, so. Hope that helps. I mean, there's it's kind of hard to give an exhaustive list uh, without knowing what you sell, though. Okay, here's a question from Michael K regarding pirate ship simple export rate, which is used to uh, to sh to do international shipments uh, that are four pounds or less. Um, they have really good rates on that. So his question is. When you ship international with pirate ship using simple export rate, does it print out the postage and customs on one form? Does it fit on the four by six label? Yes, it does. Um, it fits on the four by six label. Customs is uh, on that same that same label too. It's super handy. I've done a lot of international shipping via simple export rate, uh, especially when I was selling mugs, coffee mugs, hundreds of them. A lot of those orders were uh, international orders and also the box resizer knives, which I still don't, which you're still, still waiting for, okay? But these guys here, um, a lot of those were international orders too. So when I would batch print, like those would print up just along with the rest of the orders. And the really cool thing is the customs, a little bug in there. Look, the customs information is um, is on there, and it also in the signature spot, it actually prints your name in the signature spot and dates it. You don't even have to sign the thing like you do when you print international postage elsewhere. Real says, can you explain the media mail rules? What qualifies? What doesn't? Okay, <laughs> I, sh I, I I hesitated to even uh, take this question, but I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. Uh, and I'm going to keep it simple. Like I'm not going to go, I'm not going to delve too far into uh, weird what ifs and uh, exceptions and things like that for the most part. So uh, for the most part, books, like a regular like book, a paperback book, a hardcover book, that can go media rate. Um, a DVD movie, that can go media rate. Um, hmm, what else? What else can go? Oh, uh, laser disc. VHS tapes. Now these are things that are like have pre-recorded stuff on them, right? Like movies that are um, that are that are sold pre-recorded with with movies on them, right? Um, those can go media rate. Uh, what else? CDs can go media rate. All, these are like recorded media, basically, uh, is eligible to go media rate. And books, like I said, what else? What else can go media rate? Uh, well, let's talk about a few things that can't go media rate. Um, like brand new blank cassette tapes or VHS tapes 
or like uh, DVD, DVD ROM, uh, you know, writable DVDs, things like that, that are blank, brand new blank. Those cannot go media rate. Those have to go some other way, first class, priority, whatever, but they, they're not supposed to go media. Um, comic books are not allowed to go media rate because they have advertising. That's, that's the test. If they have advertising other than incidental advertising, then they cannot go media rate. Um, there are some, some cases with comics. I actually have a stack right here. I was, I've been working with comics um, some today. I'm trying to get some uh, more auctions and whatnot. I'm digging the auctions, y'all, because the, uh, the auctions... Even if you don't always get the highest price, and sometimes you do get the highest price, uh, it, it moves the stuff. <laughs> stuff moves out. So this is something that looks like a comic book. Okay, this is Blade, right? But this is actually... Okay, this can go media rate, because if you flip through it, there's no advertising. It's all, it's all graphic novel in there. Now, there is some incidental advertising in the back, of other things that they offer this is what this is what would like if you look at the rule if you search it on you google it and it says something about incidental advertising this back page that would be an example of incidental advertising but otherwise yeah and um i think Krogman told me one time if the comic book or the book or whatever has an isbn number then that's good that that means it's a book and not a comic book. Comic books don't have ISBN numbers. Um, video games are not allowed. Um, PC games, as far as I know, are not allowed um, to go media rate. Let's see, what else? Hmm. There are some, like, you'll want to go and look at the actual rules. Google it. Go to the DMM, whatever. If you ever find yourself in possession of like uh, training material, educational training material, stuff like that, um, because like some weird stuff that you wouldn't think could go media mail can, like um, like flashcards that are you know like educational type like materials like that, they can go media rate, right? Uh, but sometimes maybe not. Like if it's some kind of electronic thing. Uh, that's a learning game or something. Maybe that can't go media rate. Sometime that, and now I'm getting into some of the like what ifs and exceptions and stuff. That's some of the weird stuff. But I think I've pretty pretty well covered. Um, oh, another one that can't that is not supposed to go media rate is um, our our magazines because they have advertising in them. So yeah, I think I've pretty much covered all the the common scenarios anyway. Alrighty, that is going to be it for today. I will see y'all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.